my channel. So today I'm going to share with you some things that I picked up at Sephora during the VIB sale. I got a bunch of things that just came out and also some things that I wanted to try out for my wedding in a few weeks. So if you're interested in seeing what I picked up, then just keep on watching. So starting off with a couple things for your face, I picked up the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation and I actually went to Sephora a couple days before the VIB sale and swatched it and just knew what I wanted to order for the actual sale. And I'm in the shade Y325 or 118. I'm not sure what is the old name and the new name since I knew they reformulated in the past year. So this is packaging and it does come with a pump and this has a ton of formula in it. It is how much? It is 1.1 fluid ounce, so it is a decent size, and this is a really liquidy consistency. For some reason, I thought it was going to be more thick because I know it is a full coverage foundation, but it's super lightweight, which I do really like. I am wearing this foundation today, and I have been wearing it for the past couple days, and I do like it. I love the finish of it. It's more, not matte, it just feels like, like I'm not really wearing foundation and it's really a natural lightweight finish. And to me this is pretty much the same finish and feel as the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation which I have no problem with because that's my all time favorite foundation. When I noticed a bigger difference with this was when I was taking my makeup pics from it yesterday and the photography with this foundation is absolutely amazing. It photographs beautifully, it makes you look airbrushed compared to any other foundation that I owned, which is exactly what I wanted with this because I do want to wear this on my wedding day. Also for Makeup Forever, I picked up the Smoothing Primer and I picked up the Travel Size, the one that is usually by the checkout line at Sephora, just because these are such expensive primers. So this little bottle was $17 compared to like $34, $36 for the full size. Basically, this is just a primer that smooths your skin, fills your pores. It's the same formula to me like exactly as the Benefit Professional. I love that product too. I feel like these are pretty much the same product to me. I don't see much of a difference. And normally I just go for hydrating primers. The Makeup Forever Hydrating Primer is my all-time favorite primer, but I did want something that does fill in texture that I could wear with the HD foundation. And I do like this, but it, to me it's the same thing as the Benefit Professional. But I am pretty much out of my Benefit Professional, so I am glad that I did pick this up. Next I got a concealer. It's the Naked Skin Concealer from Urban Decay. And I got the travel size, and I regret not getting the full size because the travel size was already $12. And this looks like a 100 point perk to me. And once I open it, you're going to see it's like really, really baby sized. So this is the concealer. This is like enough concealer for like one eye, but... I am obsessed with this formula already and I want to go back and purchase a full size. So I got the shade Light Neutral and a lot of people kind of complain about the color variations and I think they did actually come out with a couple more shades but I find that this shade isn't too light for me. So you can see the shade's a little bit lighter than my hand and that's the kind of shade that I like for my under eyes to highlight and everything and to do like basically all of the highlighting all over my face and it doesn't look like stark white or anything on my face. I think it works really nicely. And the reason I love this is because to me it's the exact same formula as the MAC Pro Longwear. And I've heard a ton of people say that, but just watching people apply it like in tutorials and stuff, I don't see it that way just because this always looks a lot thinner and stuff. But when you actually use this, it's the same formula. It's a little bit thinner, but it's the same coverage and it applies so much smoother. So I'm really excited to keep using this because the MAC Pro Longwear is like my ride or die concealer and now this is so much easier because it does have a doe foot applicator and it doesn't have to be applied with a brush. So this is definitely my new favorite concealer. The only reason I got the mini size is because I wanted to buy a lot of things and not spend a ton of money because everything's super expensive at Sephora but this is definitely worth the cost of the full size product which I think is like $26. Next I got a mascara it's the Benefit Roller Lash and I've never had the full size but I've had like sample sizes from subscription boxes or maybe like a hundred point perk or so. This is the full size mascara and it has a ton of product in it. This is my favorite high-end mascara and this has like a curved wand and the ridges in the brush are super separated so you could apply like five coats of this and it won't clump up and that's why I love this mascara it's the best mascara to use under lashes because you don't 
get like a clumpy or weird effect with your natural lashes and it helps you blend your lashes really nicely and it's also a really good bottom lash mascara so I definitely recommend this. I also picked another mascara as a 100 point perk and this is the Tardis mascara. It's the new mascara from Tarte. And this is actually a pretty decent size sample. So the brush to me is actually very similar to the Roller Lash only it's straight and it is very like intricate so it does separate your lashes really well. I have tried this over the past couple days. It works really well. It's not so good for like your inner corner lashes because the wand is a little bit thick. But overall, it lasts really well and it does separate your lashes. So going along with the mascaras, I did also pick up some false lashes. And these are the Huda Beauty lashes in Sasha in the number 11. And I have some Huda Beauty lashes. I think it's Samantha that I used in my Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. And these are pricey lashes. I think they're like between $20 and $25. And they're really super good quality. But I think lashes like this are a little bit overwhelming for my face. I feel like I have pretty small eyes. So when I put lashes on like this, it just like closes my face up for some reason. So I actually tried to apply these yesterday, but they like overwhelmed me and I just don't know what's the best makeup look to wear like really dramatic lashes with. So I am wearing lashes right now but just to give you perspective of how like tall these lashes are like I try to apply them but they were like scratching my eyebrow a little bit and I'm like is it supposed to do that? I'm not sure. <laughs> I do think these are super pretty and I've seen pictures on our Instagram with these lashes but I'm just not sure if my face is the right shape for like really dramatic lashes. The lashes that I'm wearing right now are the Kiss Lashes in the number 11. I mentioned them in my March favorites. They're the lashes I've been wearing in all my recent videos and they're the lashes that I wear the most because I feel like they just suit my face because <laughs> they are pretty natural but I want something more dramatic and voluminous and I want to try like a good quality lash for my wedding that could stand the test of like tears or emotions or whatever. I don't want to like end up with my lashes down my face by the end of the day. So if you guys have any recommendations for like a good quality high-end lash that's not like overly obnoxious that works well with smaller eyes then please let me know because I need to find those like in the next couple weeks. So next I have a new palette from Benefit and I have a lot of strong feelings about this palette. So I'm going to make a whole video on it. I should be up probably in a couple days after this video. It's the Cheekathon palette from Benefit and it comes with five blushes and a bronzer. I'll show you guys this palette real quick but I am going to go into detail and swatches and everything in a video coming up. The packaging is pretty sleek and then it has five products total. It has four blushes and the Hoola bronzer. And then it also comes with this little brush that is a good quality brush for contouring. The awesome thing about this palette is that everything in here is full size and this retails for $58. So you get five products that are full size for the price of two of the box blushes. Next I have two lip products from Buxom and one of them is the new liquid lipstick and this is called the Wildly Whip Lightweight Liquid Lipstick and this is in the color Divacious Dolly. I think this was about $20 and the packaging does have a lot of product. But this is a whipped liquid lipstick, so it is super moussey, and I wouldn't even really call it a liquid lipstick because it doesn't dry like on your lips like most liquid lipsticks do. It doesn't um, stay on matte and it doesn't like stain your lips. It kind of just transfers pretty easily. So this to me is the exact same thing as the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss, and I have one right here, and I want to say that this might be pretty much the same product. I have the color Nude Elude, and yeah, this is pretty much the exact same thing. Yeah, this is the L'Oreal one, this is the Buxom one, they're exact dupes for each other. I can't even remember which one's which at this point, I think it's this one's the L'Oreal one. And it's showing up like the Buxom one's a little bit darker, and it actually looks even more similar in person. But this is the same product as this. They dry the same, they look the same, and I think I'm actually going to end up returning this. I don't want to because I'm like invested in Buxom and their lip products, but I want to return this and I want to get one of the Too Faced Melted Matte Lipsticks. So the only reason I'm not impressed with this is because it has that more moussey formula. It is called Whip, so it is doing what it claims, but it's not super long wearing and doesn't stain your lip like I'm used to the ColourPop liquid lipsticks which just stay on all day so I'm not really impressed with this formula if it's not something I could like go out and eat pizza and like still have my lip color on then I'm not gonna really bother wearing it. it is like more high maintenance to me so for something that's twenty dollars if it's not gonna stay on my lips then I'm definitely returning it and sticking with is it this one 
this one I think from L'Oreal. And then next I have one of the Buxom full on lip creams and this is in the color Hot Toddy. And I haven't tried this yet but this lip gloss formula is my all time favorite lip gloss formula. I'm like not even a lip gloss person until I found these. So this is the color and it is a pretty pigmented formula for a gloss. It's super thick which I think is what I like about the formula. It's not like thin and running all over your lips it stays in place for a gloss. I did just apply a little to the center of my lip right now. I did hear that they got rid of the minty formula with these glosses and that's something that I really really like that minty cooling formula and I'm still feeling like that kind of cooling effect but it doesn't taste like mint or anything. I didn't apply too much on because it's a completely different color but if you've tried this before and you didn't like, like that really really minty strong scent to it then I don't think it has it anymore. I want to say that it has like more of a vanilla scent now. I have so many swatches on my arm today so I like can't really tell if there's much of a scent or flavor to it but with the mint ones those are very strong so I don't think that this has the mint formula anymore but it is still plumping and I still feel that like cooling sensation on my lip but it doesn't have the flavor. But lastly I have something I picked up like a week or two before the sale and I just looked online and this isn't available anymore but all of the products in here are available in full size and this is one of the Sephora favorites and it's the give me some nude lip and this is one of those things they have like at the checkout line at Sephora so it's not available online as of now but if you find it in the checkout line I wouldn't be surprised because I did get it just in the past couple weeks. And what this is, it's a set with five nude lip colors. You have two nude pencils, two small size lipsticks and then the reason I wanted to get it was for the new Tarte liquid lipsticks. So I'm going to swatch two of the things in here that I have been wearing a lot. Some of them I haven't even tried out yet. I think some of the lipsticks I haven't even tried out yet. But these two I've been wearing a ton. So the first thing is from the brand Nude Stick. And this is a brand I've never tried out. And this is in the color Whisper. And this is a lip and cheek pencil. And I really like this because it's a chubbier pencil so you could fill your whole lips with it. And this is super nude. It has some brown to it. It has some mauve to it. It's like my perfect nude color. And I've been liking wearing it with the Buxom Gloss and Dolly. And I'm going to wear it with the new Buxom Gloss now that I have that. And the second is the Tardis Lip Paint in the color I think Namaste. And this is also a liquid lipstick that has more of a moussey formula but it does dry matte and it does stay put so I really like this color it's a really pretty nude color so I am a fan of these liquid lipsticks and this is a newer brand I think to Sephora and I definitely recommend checking out these lip pencils I do want to get some more colors alright guys so that's everything I got in the VIB sale it was awesome to get everything 15% off especially because I had been putting off getting the foundation and the primer and the concealer and stuff for a couple months until the sale came around. Please let me know in the comments below what you picked up from the VIB sale and remember if you have any recommendations for lashes that I could wear on my wedding day then please leave those below. I am trying to hunt those down really quickly and if you like this video please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll talk to you soon in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!